Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on estimating the size of an angle. Now in a previous video we looked at uh, different common angles. So for example, if we had what's known as a right angle, so like the corner of a table for example, then this angle here is a right angle and that would be 90 degrees. So if we have like a sort of quarter rotation, this would be a full rotation like that, but if we had just a quarter rotation then that would be 90 degrees. And if we had the angle in a straight line, so we did like a half rotation, that would be 180 degrees. So if my pen started facing this way and then span a half spin, then it would be rotating 180 degrees. And then finally, if we had this angle here, well, let's think about it. Half a spin would be 180 degrees. And then we've got another quarter spin that would be another 90 degrees. So in total, that would be 270 degrees. So we can use these as sort of reference points to estimate these different angles. So let's look at this 90 degrees, like where we have sort of the corner of a table, for example. I've got this line here. Let's just say I drew a dotted line, which was at right angles to here. So we know that the angle between this dotted line and this line here, that's a quarter spin, like the corner of a table, that would be 90 degrees. So if that whole angle there is 90 degrees, then what's just this angle here? Well, we can see that this angle here, that spin there, is about half of 90 degrees, isn't it? So we would estimate that this angle here is half of 90 degrees, which was 45 degrees. And by the way, when we say estimate the angle, we're not measuring it using a protractor. We're just trying to guesstimate what the angle is, give some kind of approximate measure of the angle. Now, B, this kind of looks like a straight line. It looks like a straight line, but not quite. So again, if I extend this line like this, then we know that that full angle, that half spin, would be 180 degrees. So this angle is a bit less than 180 degrees. We might estimate it's about 160 degrees. And why am I guessing 160 degrees? Well, let's say I added an extra line. So we can see that well, this angle here would be a right angle, 90 degrees. This angle here would also be a right angle. Well, if this angle here is 90 degrees, then this bit of angle here looks just slightly less than a third of that. So a third of 90 would be 30 degrees. So just a bit less than that would be 20 degrees. So if we estimate this as 20 degrees and that total angle on the line is 180, 180 minus 20 would be 160. So that is our guess. And then this final one here, now this looks a bit like that 270 degree angle, doesn't it? Yeah? So, let's draw an extra line again, a dotted line, so that it would be a 270 degree angle. So that whole angle there would be 270 degrees. Uh, and in fact, let's add an extra line, so we've got this kind of straight line going from the top to the bottom. Now let's think about this angle here. So if this is 90 degrees, um, this looks like slightly less than half of that 90 degrees. So I would estimate this is maybe about 40 degrees here. So if the total angle from here round to here is at 270 degrees, this is 40 degrees left. So that must mean that that remaining angle here, if we subtract the 40 from the 270, we get an angle of 230. So we're gonna estimate that this angle is 230. 